Hi, my name is Stephanie Langley and this is my final project for Dr. Nick's construction safety course. My topic is over billboard erection and my first OSHA um, standard number for a violation is 1926-105A uh, and this is about personal protective and life-saving equipment, um, mainly using safety nets. Um, as you can probably see in one minute when I show you on my catwalk, do not have a safety net. Um, he doesn't even have a uh, harness on, actually. So he only has a hard hat on, and that's about it for the guy on the catwalk. Um, my standard number two is fall protection um, used on the catwalk. Uh, standard number two is uh, 1926-501A is duty to have fall protection. And he does not, like I already talked about, he does not have a harness on. He does not have anything along those lines. So that would be a giant violation. My third one is my NEOSH publication 95-108, uh, and that is preventing electrocution of crane operators and crew members working near overhead power lines. Um, you'll be able to see in a minute, you can kind of see it from this angle. I do have power lines and this is my crane contacting that. Um, I do have a little guy over here that is talking to the, to the cab driver and he, um, he would be getting electrocuted if he had his hands anywhere, actually just from being in the vicinity of that as well. So my fourth one is about um, different flags and cones that should be on the work site, protecting people from not stepping on certain things, not falling, tripping, any of those. We do not have any of those either. And that's 1926-1408-8A1 as well. Um, and my fifth one is going to be about barricades along the highway right here. And we don't have those as well. And that's 1926-202. Uh, um, fortunately, since there are no barricades, if a car were to come over, they could strike anyone on the work site. And it just it would not be good. It would not be good. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my work site. So, as you can see, this is my crane and these are my power lines. They do come in contact. Um, so that the guy over here would not make it. Up here on my catwalk, this guy, uh, he does not have any safety nets. He does not have any fall protection in general. There are no cones or barricades anywhere, no flags um, at all. So this would not be a safe work site for this billboard erection. Um, on my case study, I did have a case study of a 28-year-old male in Kentucky. Um, he died, uh, using a 24 foot hook ladder. Um, he was, I think it was 7,200 volts, um, of power. So he died pretty much instantly. Um, the face report is 85-21. Uh, he was putting up a billboard. He, uh, was following what, what he was being told to do, but the site was not checked properly. Um, there were several recommendations, um, let me see if I can pull those up really quick. Yeah, employers should identify all safety hazards on the work site. Employers should provide proper equipment to perform job-related tasks. Employers should develop a written safety job procedures that are task-specific. So those are pretty standard, but if those would have been done and in place, um, he might not have lost his life. But that concludes my presentation. Thank you.